Alright, this is Mofo See That, and today we have the Marvel Collector's Core for August. And it's Secret Wars based off of the uh, event that just finished recently. And on the front, you can see there is Lady Thor, who in the comics was revealed recently. And spoiler alert, you can skip a couple seconds if you don't know, but basically it was like. Uh, Jane Foster that got the Thor powers and this time my package got super beat up I mean there's creases there's like dents in here all around beat up it pulls right here right here it's really weird but it's I think everything inside should still be fine just get rid of the tape Still open up. Yeah, it's a little bit tough. This is all the dents. Yeah, here we go. And on the top, you get all the recent panels uh, Doctor Strange, Thanos, uh, see Odin, and here's some more stuff that always never ends up where they're supposed to be. Here's the pin. This is Marvel Collector's Core. You have the Superior Iron Man helmet on the pin. And the patch that came out with it is uh, Sam Wilson as the new Captain America. It's kind of cool. So putting these off to the side, opening this up fully. So first thing we see is a new shirt. Of Secret Wars. Ooh, this is cool. It's made by Funko Pop, I believe. Yes, it's in the design. Because if you look at it closely. Yeah, it's another pop shirt. Just cool. The last pop shirt we got was the Ant Man one. Ugh. Okay, all of the screen. Let's see here. You can see Lady Thor, uh, Spider Man from the Ultimate. Sorry about that, my camera went haywire for some reason. But anyway, let me try to get a better view. There's Lady Thor, Ultimate Spider Man, the Superior Iron Man, and Captain America down here. All in Funko design, which is pretty cool. And then the exclusive Secret Wars Marvel Collector Core Edition with a bonus digital edition inside, issue number one. Okay, now no idea what's going on. Changed it back to DHR, and now it's, it's kind of yellowy. Whatever, the comics, here we go, that's better. The comic, just picked up the brown exclusive. And then here is the fun part. Now, in the first two boxes, we got an exclusive Funko Pop design. The first one was the Hulkbuster, and the last one was an unmask, an unmasked Scott Lang with a mini Ant-Man figure about this big. In this case, we get two. That's like the best two you can have. You can see there's exclusive here. This is cool. Especially made. They're not especially made. You see, they have the exclusive punk, uh, Marvel Collector Core packaging, 98 and 97, exclusive uh, Thor Secret Wars version, and Spear Spider Man version. On mine, you can see the body is a bit off, which I hope can be fixed. Basically, they're exclusive, so. There's no thing else here.
This is it. This is for the exclusive pack. Let's look at Lady Thor first, though, because the feeling of body might be a bit off, like Hulk Buster's head was a bit off on his body. Oh, I see. I'm pretty broke. But basically, your head bobbles around. I super crazy glue will fix this, but maybe a bit of a problem for you. I can see where the glue is. You use a lot of glue. You see the shiny area? That's where the glue was, but it still broke off. So anyone who buys it should be careful. I should be careful when I glue this on, that's straight too. So, be wary of that. I think it fell apart due to damage to the box during shipping, which is unfortunate, but it's also quite easily solved, but I hope no one else experienced will experience that problem with the figure. Though I'm sure that Miles is alright. He doesn't look to be worse for wear. Yeah, Miles is doing quite fine. Very stable. Also has the bit off, but that's fine. The nice designs. So he has the signature Funko Pop eyes. It's pretty cool. Alright, well. I have to merge all these parts together, so it's going to look kind of weird, but this is mofo to that, and I will see you for the next Marvel Collector's Core in two months, and I also get the loot crates monthly, so check out those and the other tour reviews that I'll post up. Bye-bye.